Hey, in today's video, I am going to show you how we can offload our WordPress media files, your images and other assets that you have on your website, how you can offload them to the Amazon AWS S3 bucket so that all your images are now pulled in from the cloud instead of hosting on your own server. Now, let me first show you. So this is a website that I've quickly spun up and it has a lot of images as you can see there are multiple pages and we have about 20 images now this is a demo website so i have only 20 images here but if you have a website that's been in for a long time then it stands to reason that you must have a lot of images already and these images are going to reside on your server which means they are always going to bog down your site and plus every time your website is loaded these images are going to be pulled from your website which can also put your server resources under a lot of pressure so let me first show you if i go into the media library you'll see that at this point in time there are about 20 images here and all of these if i click on one of the image you will see that these are all located on my server at this point in time and what i want to do is i want them to be pulled in from the cloud. So I want to deploy all these images onto the cloud and I'm going to use the Amazon S3 bucket for this. And the plugin that I'm going to use is called WP Offload Media. Now WP Offload Media has two versions. There is a light version, which is freely available in the WordPress repository. All you need to do is click on the add new plugin button within your plugin and just search for offload media. And you'll get this. So I have already installed it, but I've not activated it. And then I also have the pro version of it. Now the pro version, you have to purchase it. So the link is going to be in the description below. Click on it, go and buy it. The pro version has more functionalities. In the light version, you can only, you can only use it on a newly built website. So whatever new images you're going to add, those are going to be deployed on the cloud. But if you already have an existing website, which has a lot of images, then these images are not going to be pulled into the cloud. And there is also a bit of functionalities that is restricted, such as you can't pull the images back from the cloud onto your server. You can't delete them in bulk. So functionalities are limited, but you can still use the light version if at least you want to use the existing or the new images that you're going to load. If you want to pull them to the cloud, then you can use it. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you the pro version, but use the one that you are comfortable with. So I'm going to first of all activate the pro version and then I'm going to install the license key and then I'm going to bring you back. So here I am in the settings. Now I'm going to input my license key and once I put it, I'm going to continue this tutorial. All right, so now the license key has been activated. And as you can see, the WP Offload Media plugin allows me to use these three cloud services, Amazon S3, DigitalOcean, and the Google Cloud Storage. I'm going to use Amazon S3. I find I have not tried out DigitalOcean Spaces or Google Cloud Storage. I think Amazon S3 is wonderful. The speed and their near edge servers are multiple. So I have been comfortable using this and it has not given me any problem. Plus the other advantage is that Amazon S3 has a pay as you go pricing feature, which means that if you do not have a lot of images and your website is still a relatively new website, you're not going to be billed a lot. I hardly incur a charge of less than $1 each month, so which is a fair price to pay. So once you do that, now we need to go back into the Amazon AWS console. So here I am logged into the AWS console. If you do not have an account, then you need to come to aws.amazon.com and you need to create a new AWS account. Okay, so input your email ID. They will ask probably for a phone number. Whatever it is needed, do it and get an AWS account. Once you have an AWS account, you need to go into the S3. So if you do not find S3 within your recently visited, just go to the search bar above and type S3 and you're going to see the S3 option. So this is the scalable bucket. So Amazon calls this cloud storage buckets and within each bucket you can have folders and you can input your files. It can be images, it can be text, it can be PDF files, whatever it is. These are called objects and you can store them in the Amazon S3 bucket. So I'm going to click on S3. And as you see here, I already have a lot of different buckets created. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to create a new bucket and I'm going to call it. So right now I am in Singapore. So I'm going to use Singapore as the location for my nearest bucket storage. And I'm going to call it Learn 5X. I'm going to keep the ACL disabled. I'm going to remove the block all public access because I want other WP Offload Media 
to access the files here. So I'm going to remove that. I'm also not going to have any bucket versioning and any encryption. We can have it at the default setting. Let's go to advanced. There is object lock here. I'm also going to keep it disabled. And once that is done, let's create a bucket. Okay, we need to acknowledge the current settings. Let's come down, create the bucket. Oh, it says that I should not be using uppercase characters. Let's change that. Let's scroll down, create bucket. All right, so the new bucket, as you see here, has been created. Let's go into that bucket itself. And next, what we need to do is we need to go into the permissions of here. And here you need to add something called a bucket policy. Now, this is something you need to be aware of. There are other tutorials where they don't show you, but you need to have this bucket policy in order to be able to access these images right off your website. So I'm going to give you a piece of code, which you'll find in a blog post on our website. So click on it, grab the piece of code and just place it here. So grab that piece of code and come into your bucket policy, click on edit and just paste in that code here. So in short, what this code does is it allows every image or media that you're going to put into this bucket, it is going to allow the general public to be able to read it. So anybody who has the URL of your media images can view it. So this will allow search engines plus your website to pull in that image from AWS and display it either on your website or directly via the URL, okay? All you need to do after you paste this code is you need to come here and where you see your bucket name is written down, you need to change that to your bucket name. And our bucket name is learn 5x here. So you need to input whatever is your bucket name. Once we do that, you can come down and save the changes. Okay, so this is all you need to do on the Amazon AWS 3 itself. So the buckets are here. Remember this learn 5x, we will need these names. Next, we are going to go into the WP offload media settings and we are going to set it up. All right, so we have the Amazon S3 selected. Now, we need to give access to WP Offload Media so that it can access your bucket, okay? So in order to do that, let's go back into AWS. And now I'm going to click on this AWS icon here. That brings me back to the console home and I'm going to do something called, I'm going to search for IAM. IAM stands for Identity and Access Management. I'm going to click on it. And now we are going to add some users. So I'm going to add a specific user for the WP offload storage and I'm going to give it access so that it can go and control the bucket so that it can upload files to the bucket, it can delete files from the bucket, it can pull down files from the server. It needs to do all this. So what we are going to do is once you click on IAM, go click on users. And once you click on users, as you see here, I've already created one access key and user credential for WP Offload Media, but I'm going to show you one from scratch. I'm going to create a user and I'm going to say learn 5x WP Offload. Okay. Once we do that, let's click on next. Oh, it again says that I cannot be using alphanumeric characters. There cannot be any space. So I'm going to have some underscores here and let's click on next. Once we do that, it's asking me, do you want to associate it with any group? We don't need to do it. What we are going to do is we are going to attach some policies directly. So click on it and here search for S3 FULL. You want to give full access to this user so that it can access the Amazon S3 buckets. So I'm going to click on this checkbox here and let's click on next and then we create a user. All right. So as you see, the new user has been created. Next step is to give it some credentials. So I'm going to click on that name, come down to security credentials here, scroll down and you see we need an access key. So I'm going to create a set of access key. And here I'm going to select that this application, which is going to use this access key is running outside AWS. Select that, go to next and just create an access key. So now you got an access key and a secret. So I'm going to click on the show here. I'm going to copy the access key, go back to Amazon S3. And as you can see, there are a few ways of 
inputting these access credentials and it says that if you want to store directly in database it's not the most recommended way but i'm going to do that for this tutorial but if you're an advanced developer you can of course go into your wp config file and you can write it down here with the settings that they've given so i'm going to write it directly on the database so here is the access key i pasted it i go back to amazon aws i copy the secret paste it here and let's save and continue now it's asking are you going to use an existing bucket or are you going to create a new bucket let's use the existing buckets and let's write learn 5x and i'm going to select browse existing buckets and as you can see it's already showing me learn 5x plus all the other buckets that i have i'm going to select learn 5x and save selected bucket and it shows here a warning which says object ownership is currently enforced so in this case once again i'm going back to aws I'm going to S3, I'm going to select the learn 5x bucket, I'm going to go into the properties, I'm going to edit the object ownership at the bottom here and I'm going to say ACLs are enabled and I will give the access to the object writer. Okay, let's go back here, let's refresh this. And now as you see the object ownership has been removed let's keep the bucket security as it is and now this wp offload media plugin is ready to actually deploy all our media images from our server to s3 cloud so let's go here and as you can see here on this drop down box it's saying that zero percent is offloaded what we are going to try now is we can either click on offloading remaining 28 items and get all the media images done but if you want to test it out once what i recommend is let's open the media folder here in a new tab and let's click on the first image and let's say that we want you see this option here which says copy to bucket so here we can do one image at a time so let's click the first image and let's click on copy to bucket and let's see what happens so now as you see here the image url has automatically changed here what we can now do is go back to wp offload media and we click on this drop down menu and we say okay offload all the remaining 27 items and now we will wait for a few seconds to a minute until wp offload media is uploading all the files from your server to your s3 cloud account and as you see 100 percent has been offloaded let's go back to the media library i'm going to close this and refresh this page and I'm going to click on the other images and I'm going to check the URL. And as you see, the URL is automatically now instead of learn5xfunnel.com, it's going to aws.com. Okay, let's click on some more images. All the images have been changed. I am also going to go back to the website, refresh it, scroll down. So let's take a look at this image. I'm going to right click, inspect upon it. And I see that this image, if you look at this, it the URL is pulling from AP Southeast one amazonaws.com, which means all the images are now offloaded to the cloud. But we've also not removed the local media. So, what we can do is we go into the tools, and what I want to tell now WP Offload Media is fine, you have uploaded all the images to the cloud now. Let's remove all these files from my server. So, I'm going into media, I'm going to remove or select the remove local media option and I'm going to save the changes and now it says remove all files server files from your server and I say yes begin removal and now it's processing and 100% of the images have now been removed from our server so it's saving space on our server and now all the files are going to be pulled in from your S3 bucket. So now we go back to the media and let's add some new files and see if the new file is automatically going into the S3 bucket as well. So here I have a couple of images. I'm going to just pull in one of the image and drag it on here. It's uploaded. Let's click on it. And I see that it's also automatically the file URL has been sent to the cloud. Now, Let's go back to our Amazon S3 bucket. Let's click on the Learn 5x bucket and let's refresh this page. And as you can see, there is a folder automatically created called WP Content. I'm going to click on it. 
I have uploads and then I see two folders here, 2021 and 2024 because these images are pretty old. I just um, downloaded a template image and as you can see there are a lot of images here. Then let's click on one of these images. I'm going to grab this URL and I'm going to right click and open it in a new window. And this is the stage image. So this is used in one of the website pages. Let's go back here to upload and let's go to 2024. So this should be the new image that I just uploaded. I'm going to open it in a new tab. And this is the latest image that I just manually uploaded. So in short, the WP Offload Media tool is working. The plugin is already pulling in all our website images from the media folder up to the cloud and you can bring them back. So let me show you how to bring them back. Go to settings, WP Offload Media, and let's go to tools. And now, if you want to bring in all the files from the bucket, S3 bucket back to your server, you can just click on this, download all files from bucket to server. Let's wait for a few seconds. Right, so all the media files have been downloaded I guess let's go to the media library refresh it let's take a look not yet okay it says finish downloading media files to your local server all right and let's now say that remove all the files from the bucket let's remove all the files from the bucket let's remove them so we've removed media files from the bucket. Let's refresh the media library. As you can see, the files still remain, but this time the URL is automatically changed from the bucket to our 5xsalesfunnel.com, learn.5xsalesfunnel.com. Let's now go back to AWS. And what I'm going to do is go to the bucket up here. And as you can see, the WP content folder has been completely removed. So WP Offload Media plugin will do all that for you, but you can do all this only if you have the pro version. In the light version, you cannot call back images from the bucket to the server. You cannot upload any existing images to your bucket. You can only do them with new manual uploads. So it's a good way to try out the system. And if you like it, then of course you can buy the pro version. If you need help with all of this, then please remember that me and my team, we do that. Uh, get in touch with us and send us a message and we will see if we can work to solve your problem. All right. So I hope this was helpful. Use this and I will see you in the next video.